Good morning, guys and gals, and welcome to another enthralling episode of Pixel Piracy. Uh, when we last left off, we lost quite a few people, or quite a bit of money, I should say, in Funkhauser, where we went and tracked down a bounty that I thought would pay off well, but we ended up having to spend a small fortune in elixirs. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to make up some of this money. I'm thinking we'll attack some of these Pirate 2s. Uh, maybe check out a town, because I want to get more recruits. That's what we need right now. And off we go, sailing towards adventure. So right now, we do have a nice little boat. Uh, it's not bad looking, I quite like it. Kinda reminds me of a uh, tugboat, I think I've mentioned that before. Uh, sorry, the music's just a little loud in my headset. I was gonna turn it down when I realized it was probably just my headset on full blast, so... They're eating there, we have a source of food. I think probably what'll happen next is we're going to uh, end up stealing a boat here shortly. Um, probably not a big one. Again, we're not quite ready to be uh, loading up guns and taking on like Pirate 3s or Pirate 4s. Uh, but if we could get even just two more half-decent recruits, which we should be able to do shortly. I mean, we have 257 gold. That's not terrible. We could get, like, two 100 and changes. Uh, but we're already encountering this group, so... Why not? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I've been playing quite a lot of RimWorld. Uh which is just turning into be, like, my favorite game of all time. Uh, and I'm used to having to select everybody, so if you were curious what I was doing there, trying to just click into space, I was trying to select them. Ah, oh, yes, dead men tell no tales. We know, we know. This should be a quick fight. We may actually be ready to take on a Pirate 3. And that was all she wrote, essentially. Oh, you don't have to select the mural. So we'll send them back to the ship. Oh, I think I accidentally told someone to come back. Nope, get back here, Captain. There we go. Plus 80 gold, so we're sitting around 350 now. I'm thinking I'm gonna hit one more pirate two. Where's the closest one? That would be a pirate three. We could hit an island two. Have we explored this one? Let's explore Hank and then we'll take a look at the towns around Hank. See if we can't find a uh, tavern. Let's see, stock, so that's pretty full. Uh, truth be told, we're actually really well off. I mean, we're not... You're never as strong as you could be. And I guess as long as we're working, it's not the end of the world. Now, if I wasn't recording, I'd probably just be going around and grinding everything. But I understand you guys don't like episodes like that, and I don't like just cutting out random bits of it uh, just for the sake of viewing, so I try to keep it interesting and, like, all together. Uh, so we are pushing ourselves just a little bit, but I feel like we've been grinding a bit too much anyway. So 
realistically, oh, that boar is gonna come and try to mess our day up. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, but we caught one! Excellent! See that guy right there? He's now ours. He lives with us on our boat. Did we get both of them? That's crazy. That's never happened. That is so exciting. Uh, so we're going to interact with this chest. Uh, some gold. We have a couple oysters over here. We'll kill them for the shells. I'm trying to... <laughs> okay. Okay, so that's how you get them on the ship. Uh, normally what I would do is just kind of jump back over to the ship and sail away, and then they would have magically just appeared on the... Oh, that's sad. Oh, we just lost a boar because I'm an idiot. No, everyone away from the edge. Away from that goddamn edge. Oh. Tis better to have loved and lost than to never have loved at all. R.I.P. Cat and Piggly. Our eye pig, piggly too. I think, even though that was an incredibly successful island raid, we're just gonna take a moment to uh, remember the crewmates that were with us the least amount of time, but have still left left an impression on us. And I think we actually lost someone over the edge. Okay, no. It was just the Piggly Brothers. Oh. I apologize in advance, everybody. I have a wicked head cold. So if I start sneezing, or I, like, just have to stop and blow my nose, it's not that I'm overly emotional of the Piggly Brothers. Uh, I, I'm, don't get me wrong, I'm gonna miss them, but it wasn't a crying thing, it's just terrible head cold. Oh well, I guess we did it once, we could do it again. Captain, get down from up there. Does everyone know swimming yet? That was like one of my top priorities, and I think I got waylaid. Uh, just because if they don't have swimming, they die when they fall in the water. Cat Murel doesn't have swimming. Connie, no swimming. Guillermo, no swimming. Okay, so we're going to have to buy the swimming uh, skill book, too. We'll check out Cumberland here, and then I think there was a Pirate 3 just below that. We'll go after them, too. Uh, Cat Murel just leveled up, but I'm not going to touch those TP until we get kind of the skills and the crew... Uh, of which we need, just because I may need to teach him some things like swimming. And because we have gone to town and they're running to town, that means there is a tavern. We're going to pay everybody. And just take a look at the lay of the land. I really thought there'd be a tavern because they were running for it. Ah, uh, that's disappointing. I honestly don't see anything here I want. Uh, we'll go over here and talk to these guys. Another bounty, but I'm not going to go on another wild goose chase uh, just yet. Once we're strong enough, you know, get a few more people, get them trained, get them weaponed up. Then we'll take another look at where this uh, bozo is and we'll uh, put him down like the salty dog he is. Uh, we could probably sell some weapons, some decoration. I mean, there's crabs here we could kill. Uh, Geraldo Quartz Jerry. Uh, we'll find Geraldo. Oh god, is he on this island? Okay. So, uh, everyone back to the ship. You know, shore leave was nice, but we gotta get back. Gotta find... At least... One more crewmate. Uh, I mean, realistically, at 3.30 and change, we can probably get three half-decent ones. Uh, but I'd much rather get, like, two half-decent ones and some skill books or something. I don't know, I'm being picky. 
I'm being picky. And away we go. So there is a Pirate 3 there, and another 2 town. Let's head down to the Pirate 3. The Pirate 2s haven't been all that crazy. Uh, but, I mean, that being said, Pirate 3 could be tricky. Uh, with any luck, they'll board us, and that'll give us time to get Gil equipped with a proper weapon. I don't want to take him off fishing yet. Especially if we're going to be hiring more people, I want a nice surplus of food. Actually, let's see how our food is doing. Yeah, we only have four extra fish. Eh, we, we could probably have like six people on here comfortably right now. Uh, obviously, his fishing skill is going to go up and he's going to catch fish more often. And I don't know why that fish thing isn't disappearing. Gotta love bugs. There we go. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna engage them. Let's take a quick look at their ship. I hit space to pause it, and it just kind of froze everything. I like this ship. We are so taking that ship. I'm not even... So, uh, I guess first things first, let's make sure our crew is properly equipped. Um, let's give you a flail. That'll give you some nice damage. You have a cutlass. You're doing 12. Is there anything that would do better than 12? Not that I see. And so the fight begins. So Gil's getting the shit kicked out of him again. Give him the elixir, but we're also going to give him Phoenix Rock. That's going to be kind of our last ditch. Don't chase me, I'll get down there in the. That's going to be kind of our last ditch thing. If he dies, it's going to bring him back at 50% health. And since we don't have any other cleaning items, or er, cleaning, healing items, that's really the best we can do for him right now. But other than. Gil getting beat up a bit. Connie's kind of hurting too. Okay, I want the crew to stay behind. Uh, but Captain Murel, you're strong enough to take the two of them with both arms tied behind your back. So you go over there now. You show them who's boss, and then we're taking this ship. No, get down there! Dumbass! I hate when they just stand on the edge of the boat. It drives me nuts. I've lost so many crew members who just decided, hey, we're gonna chill over here, and then just fell off. So, this is gonna be our new boat. I'm gonna call it the HMS Rust Bucket. And we're gonna capture with any luck. Perfect. We're gonna get the we're gonna get the barrels and the fish, which is nice. That's what I was worried about losing. So, wonder what the best course of action here is. Um, it's probably. I guess, let's place the barrels. Uh, we don't want to be getting into any fights in the near future. Oh, can I place the barrels? Uh, 
I'm not going to be able to place the barrels until we're docked. So we're going to place the two sea biscuits and some watermelon. And we're going to sail to Eden of the Lake. Oh. And what's the one thing I always forget to do? Sail to destination. So, this is a nice big ship. And the advantage of this nice big ship is that we can build onto it as we need to. We can essentially go up here like this. We can build up and over and build like a nice big deck up here and like some sails and cannons. And it, it, this ship will be balling. Now, Catton, get down. Oh, whatever. I think he just likes to feel the wind in his mustache. And as a fellow mustache enthusiast, I have to say that's always a great feeling. Please tell me there's a tavern. Ah, oh, as much as I hate to do this, guys, uh, we're just stopping here briefly. We're gonna put our barrels back on board. That's one thing that kind of annoys me about the game. Uh, if you have... Uh, if you've paused it, I'm trying to word this so I don't sound like an idiot. If you pause it, the screen slows so you can't move as quickly and it's just like the most annoying thing in the world if you're trying to like plan or something and you just need a couple of minutes to think it through um though i suppose nah, nah i was gonna say we could probably get like no i didn't even see a skills vendor anyway I was going to say we could probably buy a few more elixirs at the bookstore. Nice grapple there, Gil. And we're going to sail away. We're going to check out some more islands. Um, let's go to Pirate Harbor. And then if that doesn't work, truth be told, that's probably going to be the end of the episode. I think we're getting pretty close to 20 minutes. And uh, if that fails, we'll start off the next episode sailing down to that island checking that out provided the crew's not you know super cripples still uh gil should probably get closer to cat Murel as he has doctor's aura and yeah i never claim to be charismatic one thing i do like though is the reflection i think that's pretty cool it's the little details the little details so while this isn't an imposing ship yet, uh, I still stand by the fact that it's a great starter to build upon, especially since we haven't used any of our blocks as of yet. Oh, thank God there's a tavern and some oysters. So uh, realistically, I think this is where we're going to leave off. Everybody's heading into town. I'm going to pay the crew... They're going to get some more salary. Uh, so when we come back, there's going to be some shopping. There's going to be some drinking and partying. Uh, going to kill some oysters because that's how we do. Uh, we're going to sell some oyster bits. Got a shell. Got some pearls. Uh, but anyway, I want to thank everybody for watching. If you like the video, like, subscribe, check out our channel. Bunch of cool links, different things there. And especially subscribe if you're interested in seeing some RimWorld, because that's going to be happening sooner rather than later. Uh, so once again, thanks again, and I'll see you guys next time.